Hello and welcome to another lecture for History of Journalism at Temple University. I'm Professor Harper and today we're going to go over the uh, career of Martha Gellhorn in a brief uh, lecture. Uh, fascinating character. She was uh, a uh, renowned war correspondent, uh, particularly during World War II and afterwards. Uh, she lived from 1908 until 1998. She was born in St. Louis and enrolled at, uh, at Bryn Mawr College near Philadelphia. In 1927, she left before graduating to become a journalist. Her articles first appeared in the uh, New Republic, and she went to France for two years in 1930, where she worked for the Bureau of United Press, a wire service at the time. And while in Europe, she became active in the uh, peace movement and wrote about her experiences in the book what Mad Pursuit in 1934. During the Depression, she was hired as an investigator for the Federal Emergency Relief Administration, uh, which sent her to report about the influence and impact of the Depression on the United States. There were a number of writers who were part of the uh, federal programs in the Depression. We'll see a few later, uh, such as James Agee. Her reports for that agency uh, caught the attention of Eleanor Roosevelt, and uh, she and Gellhorn became uh, lifelong friends. Her findings for you know, during the, the Depression provided the basis for a novella, The Trouble I've Seen, in 1936. She was attached to um, Ernest Hemingway for a number of years. Uh, she, they met in 1936 in Key West, Florida, and they agreed to travel to Spain during the uh, Spanish Civil War, where, where Gellhorn was hired to report for Collier's Weekly. And the reading, uh, in fact, that we will take a look at is uh, from the Spanish Civil War uh, during um, an attack in the aftermath in uh, Barcelona, Spain. Later from Germany, she reported on the rise of Hitler, and in 1938 was in Czechoslovakia. She reported on World War II from a variety of places, Finland, Hong Kong, Burma, Singapore, and Britain. And what's, you know, a pr particularly interesting point to me is that she didn't have press credentials to go on the D-Day landings, so she Im impersonated uh, uh, a, uh, an emergency worker, uh, carrying stretchers and later recalled, I followed the war wherever I could reach it. She was among the first journalists to report uh, from uh, the Dachau concentration camp after it was liberated. After the war, Gellhorn worked for the Atlanta Monthly and she covered the Vietnam War, the Six-Day War in the Middle East in 1967, and the Civil Wars in Central America. Uh, at the age of 81, she actually traveled to, uh, to Panama uh, in 1989, where she wrote about the U.S. invasion. She published a large number of, um, of books. Um, one was a collection of articles on war, the face of war, and the piece that we look at from Barcelona is in there. She wrote a novel about uh, McCarthyism, um, an account of her travels, including one trip with Ernest Hemingway, and a collection of her peacetime journalism called A View from the Ground. Her politics were left of center. Um, they remained so af uh, throughout her life. She thought that the objectivity of journalists was nonsense and used journalism to reflect her politics. Politically, she had two major favorites, Israel, uh, she was very pro-Israel, and the Spanish Republic after World War II. Um, she said about Dachau, the concentration camp, that it had changed everything for her, and she became a lifelong champion of Israel. So Martha Gellhorn, uh, influential journalist and writer uh, during the 20th century, lived a long time, 90 years, and provided uh, some really interesting insights into war. And so that's what we have for today. Thanks very much, and we'll see you online.